oh, it's happening. It's actually happening. It's Saturday morning as I record this and Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign have finally released Vultures 1 or Vultures or we don't exactly know. At the time of recording, not even on Spotify, but is on other streaming services. So I'm going to jump in. This is my first reaction. I've not listened to any of the listening parties, including the Miami one from a while ago. I've only heard Talking and I've only heard the Vultures title track from when that was released a few weeks ago. A true first reaction. It is uncut as always on the Patreon, link down in the description. But without further ado, Kanye West high dollar sign, Vultures one. Team, we made it. Let's do it. Right, the first track is called Stars. Before I start, I understand that there may still be updates to this record. There may be extra songs added. If there are, we'll do separate videos. But at some point, I had to jump in. All you guys are listening right now. I had to jump in myself. Let's go. Okay. Sounds rich. You already know what I'm on. Tell them no way to for me. Glory. I'ma come through and just black out. Just black out. Keep a few G's on the staff now. I cash out. We finna go where the stars at. And beyond that. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Strong start, strong intro, beautiful like soundscape to it. The drums sound a little bit crispy. I heard some people talking about the mix. I'm just going to assume everything's okay. Hey, maybe it might change. It's a Kanye release. Like, it is what it is. Keys to my life next. Slow down, you on your way to an overdose. Plus these texts getting way too emotional. Way too much time alone. Told the guys, you know I'm home, I got a <laughs> Production's crazy, 808s and heartbreak settings straight away. Let's take it back a bit. Look at what I stumbled on. Another nigga chilling on your couch with pajamas on. Thought I was the only one. How dare you have a nigga in your house eating Papa John's? Where you get that money from? Looking at how far we come, I bought your. Papa John's like the, you know, the 50 cent meme. He's like, what did I do? Fucking Papa John's of all things. Listen, I don't mind a Papa John's. Ever since I lost my mom, you was like my foster mom. Homie like your only son. Homie like the homies in the shy when they hold their guns. Homie like a trophy in the sky when they know they won. Wasn't it always this way? Wasn't it always this way? Putting it all on display. How it sound when you got Yeezy over tempo from uptown, but now she rocking Yeezys over tempos. Mm. Like you don't see mm. me beating on your window, like Chief Chief in the kitchen with the beaties and the endo. But that was me when I was burning CDs from my friends, though. Now I can't just take it on the chin like Jay Leno. <laughs> Now everybody Check that out. want the info These bitches you already know I'm impulsive And another baby is my end goal Ooh, another baby is my end goal Okay Okay, yeah, I like that tune. A little bit disparate, I think. A little bit disconnected at times. Uh, the Papa John's line caught me. The Jay Leno line definitely caught me as well. I don't want to harp on about the mix. It doesn't, I don't know if it's deliberate or if it just needs a bit more work. That song sounded a little bit thinner than perhaps that I'd like it to. But already it sounds more complete than a lot of Donda did on that first listen. It sounds like an actual album that's been put together, which considering that I've seen images of them laying down vocals just before the uh, Chicago listening party, I mean, it just, it just these, these are the kinds of things that you have to accept about a Kanye West album in 2024, seemingly. I'm just here to get paid. I'm just here to get paid. Okay. I'm just here to get paid. 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 No more action. Nigga, only shooting 
Listen, you know you're always going to get honesty from me. Not sure about that whole Kanye section there, assuming it was him putting on the weird voices. Sounded like he recorded it on his phone. But the bits with Ty Dollar sound great. A housey type beat, much richer in the sound. Fuck knows what was going on in that middle bit, but we'll get back to enjoying the tune now. There we go. Yeah, let's go. You got my attention when you're with me. All this spread is spinning, got us dizzy. Dollars all she do it for. I know this cash. You shake that ass. Get that up front. Just go. Here we go. Let them know. They, they didn't let you on the front cover. They just put Kanye's wife's ass on the front cover with Kanye. Let them know you're here because you are dominating this track, sir. I'm just here to get paid. 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 Town is mother into a party. Bells take a lady's hand. Ladies go and choose your man. There's no need to be afraid. Friday night, let's all get paid. 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 Worked had you dropped it on Friday night, but we've got a lot of time for this track. A lot of time for this track. Okay, cool start so far. Listen, a few weird bits. Don't get me wrong, Kanye's whole section on that song was bizarre. Maybe it'll grow on me. The rest of it's really immediate. Man, I've got so much junk on my desk. Three tracks in, I'm feeling the record so far. It feels like a bit of a departure. There's elements of the Donda sound in there. There's elements of the Donda roughness in there as well, but nowhere near like Donda 2, only available on the rubber ball, by the way. But actually, do you know what? The first time I heard Life of Pablo, and that was a fucking fiasco as well, it sounded rough to me, and it's gone on to be one of my favorite Yay records. So we'll just keep going. Whether that section with him making the weird noises was going to grow on me, I don't know. What I do know, though, is that I do like this next track, Talking. It's really sweet. I like the video. It just warms my heart, you know? In a year, I know, forever, really, uh, certainly in a recent history where Kanye has not really been doing a lot of heartwarming with the stuff that he's been coming out with. And I, like, I can't condone any of that. But having him bring on his daughter, talk about his daughter, Ty talk, talking about his daughter. There we go. That's what we really want. Ah, the James Blake production. I, I said it sounded like James Blake on my first reaction. And you guys in the comments, the community, let me know. It was my boy JB. The man never misses. It is impossible for him to miss. I love a year, we gonna take over the year for another year. Is your bestie, Miss Miss Westy? B is so good. Mm -hmm. And then the basic piano comes in. Let's go. How much to stop the clock from speeding? They make time to slow down. How much to stop my daughter from going? I just can't take it now. Cause she just wants to forget. Wants to forget. Wants to forget. Wants to forget. This bit is just fucking amazing. It's my favorite thing I've ever heard from Ty Dollar Sign in terms of the lyrics, just hearing him open, raw and honest about his relationship with his daughter. You can hear the love in his voice, the love in his delivery, the true pure love that you have for your children. Some of you watching will have kids and many of you won't, but when you do, you'll know that feeling. And uh, as his daughter's getting older, I really relate to this song because my son's getting older. Both of them are really, but... No, my son's going to be, my eldest is going to be a teenager this year. In a few months, in fact. And, you know, it is different. You, you you start to see them becoming a human being. I mean, not that they weren't becoming a person, you know, you know, a, a teenager. And you also remember, I also remember how I was at that age, much more so than you do when you're four or five. Like, you only have these, like, snapshots of memories of that age. But 13, 12, yeah, I can remember quite a lot of that. So to see him starting to find his way in the world and me, what, have I done the right thing? Like, you know, you bet yourself, but also you have these concerns. And I really relate to Ty Dolla Sign here. I think it's a fantastic song. 
I can understand why people don't like it with um, the Northwest bit. Like, I, but hey, I, I reckon once you've had kids of your own, yeah, it, it'll it, it'll just appeal to you in a different way. But regardless, I mean, this bit just musically is fantastic. Once again, the clouds are gathering to release what they held in. Mr. West. Once again, the clouds are gathering to release what they held in. When he wants to create a moment, whether that's in music or out, I prefer the in music ones, he creates moments. Been doing it for 20 years. College dropout 20 years ago today. One of my favorite albums of all time. Probably top three and definitely one of the most significant albums uh, in terms of my life. And I've spoken about that before. I'll speak about it again. Um, just in terms of me changing my life at the time. And here and now, he still can create those magic moments, man. Beautiful song, truly. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, reload. Reload! Shit, man. I need to put on some goddamn cologne. We gotta appreciate this properly. Let's go. Listen, can we give. Ty Dollar needs his flowers already on this album. He's been sublime. I'm looking forward to playing this one in the car with the kids. Big titty, but naked women just don't fall like the sky, you know? Don't know if I will. Tell me how you know. I've been searching high and low. And I can tell you one thing. Beautiful big titty, but naked women just don't fall like the sky, you know? <laughs> tell me how you know. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I've been searching high and low. And I can tell you one thing. Beautiful, Beautiful big titty, titty but naked women, women just don't fall like the sky, you know? They so valuable. I've been searching high and low. And I can tell you one thing, beautiful big titty butt naked women just don't fall out the sky, you know. <laughs> How has he made this a banger? This is the most ridiculous song I've ever heard, and it's a banger. Ridiculous. Kanye, you're fucking nuts. I mean, we know that. But what the hell? It's just, and Ty Dolla's bit so, like, beautiful. I just, like, can you imagine it? Ty Dolla's laid down his bit, he's, he's sent it across to Ye. Uh, he's doing something else. Maybe he's working on another track. Maybe he's working on something else. And yeah, guys, I've, I've laid down my bit, uh, Ty. Have a listen. And Ty Dolla puts it on. It's like, cool, sweet. Beautiful big titty, but naked women just don't fall like the sky. And he looks across. And yeah, he's just there in the mask. Just... <laughs> and Ty Dolla's like, uh, okay, I guess. I'm just here to get paid, I guess. Just that shit that make rap niggas mad. Yeah, fucking two twins. I told her skinny was in, so she took out all the ass. Kept it natural. But that thing still moves to the bird just to my ex like I was Elon. Oh, this is Freddy, isn't it? It sounds a bit weird in the mix. It didn't quite sound like his voice for a second. This is fucking Freddy. Oh, take it back, take it back. Where we at? Oh, yeah. Promise to me line. Just turn the bird just to my ex like I was Elon. Cow hunters on the blue side. Booty must have grew aside. Seen it from the front side. Damn it must be two sides. Yeah. God damn it must be two sides. Talk my dick for the interview. A editorial. Put you 
Freddie Gibbs! Kane Tryon! Freddie Gibbs, I'm shouting. You know that bit in the either the World Cup or the Euros, Spain v Portugal. And it was the last minute. Ronaldo. CR7 steps up and he does his thing that Sir Alex Ferguson taught him to calm himself down. The big breath. Let me know it. <sighs> Crashes the free kick into the top corner. Last minute goal. Hits the shoe. Hat trick, unbelievable performance. That was Freddie Gibbs on that verse. Taking a great but ridiculous song, staying on theme, including, even including the ridiculous bit that Kanye kept saying, and just escalating and escalating and escalating. Come in that, that strong at the beginning, it's a bit too much. He started gently, a few slick lines, and escalated, 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 escalated. Now, everybody knows what we already knew. And plenty of people knew already about Mr. Gibbs. Don't get me wrong. Plenty of people knew already. Amazing song. Ridiculous song. Amazing song. Uh, a fucking crazy moment. Let's go. All right. This is a big one. Just quickly before we get back to the reaction. I haven't dropped merch in the whole time that I've been doing YouTube. But I have been working on something really cool to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the college dropout. Which just happens to be the same day that Vultures won or Vultures has dropped. So I had this cool idea to pay homage to the front cover of the college dropout. But to do it in a, in a cuphead style. Here we go. Here's the images on t-shirts and on hoodies. The link is down in the description. It may be in the merch shelf below this video video as well if you want to get yours like i said this is the first merch drop that i've done i wanted to make sure that when i did merch it just wasn't some shit logo on a t-shirt it was something really cool that people would actually want so if it is something that you want i'd love it if you get involved right now back to the reaction Cables all twisted up there. Yeah. Wrapped up in, have mercy, Lord. I know that I've got a nice whip, but I hope that me and you could be on one accord. I shot, I scored. I took it off the board, headboard, whore. But I was with your feelings when you told me. Still, fuck it. That was too. unbelievable, the dude. Unbelievable. Right. Why would right. listen? What should Kanye say is basically affirmations what people say for success. And it sounds insane because that's what motherfuckers do. But he sounds insane. And that sounds, sounds of a leader. No doubt he got some mental fucking issues. Most leaders do. The delusional issue. I'm a god. Nice song. Tell her watch this. When I make you cream, I'ma talk shit. When you fuck back, and you got grip. Stick your tongue out when you get your spot hit. I just wanna know. All this money on the floor. Tell them right, throw it up, watch how I do it. Make a drop to a toast. Beat it all day, beat it all night. I be on Gorilla going Kimbo slice. I be with the killers, need to pay. Rest in peace, Kimbo. Try me you want, you gon' pay with your life. All these guns on me, wish your set bitch, throw it up. You don't like it, that's your loss. Your opinion don't change the show cost. Let me know what these hoes cost. I ain't finna pay the whole cost. Throwing so much money, you gon' need an audit. God in me, so anything you want, I got it. Southside, do or die, shot town, top five. Four, three, two, one, who am I? Yay, 
That's yeah, yeah. Mm. Taste right. a whole hundred sliding on this one. Right. If I show what she work, I think okay. she just oh, might you know what? I'll, I'll be honest I with you. I just bought my bitch a bitch. Uh. <laughs> okay. Not the best line to pause it on from what I'm about to say. I was worried, not because I wasn't enjoying the album, because I am. I think it sounds fucking amazing. I think Ty Dollar's like really focusing the album. I'm not saying he's carrying the album because it sounds like a Kanye album. But I think just ha having him around, tying the songs together when they start to go like a little bit too off track, like he's always going to sound amazing. It's impossible for him not to. And it always, yeah, just gives each track a bit of focus. But early early on, basically up until Hood Rat, kind of it was like, yeah, like you're just kind of talking a load of nonsense. Some of your verses sound mixed wrong. It's a Kanye project, but like, I don't know if you're really delivering as you can, as you always did. Last track, verse is really strong. And here, sliding across the beat like he should. So, I, I mean, it just is what he is at this point, but you don't get this. You don't get this without him. But having Ty Dollar on board, I was unsure when they announced it at first. Like, I've I enjoyed Ty Dollar as a feature artist and some of his songs in the past, but he's not really somebody that I'd ever go and seek out and really listen to his music. Obviously, Kanye, one of my favourite artists, if not my favourite artist of all time. So, a weird combo for me. But I actually think it's a it's an inspired and genius move. Just having someone truly... Like, I don't know anything about Ty Dollar Sign as a person... But there is a reason that he is featured on so many songs, right? And it's not just because he sounds good, because there's plenty of people who sound good. And I'd imagine it's because he's easy to work with and he's fucking professional. Because you don't get that many opportunities if you're not those two things. Unless you're, like, insanely, insanely hot. I don't mean good looking. I mean insanely, like, on at the moment where everybody just wants to work with you just for the clout. Or you're just, like ungodly talented do you know what i mean so he must be he must be extremely professional focused like everything comes in on time there's no other way there's no other way kings and sheep we done made a mess they gonna have to clean for weeks all this money on the floor yeah. Ten racks, throw it up, watch how I do it. Make a like, it's an album toast. track but it's a solid one pick it up real so uh, he's selling all the lies stay with the money i'm a yeezy and dollar sign that pussy way you would have swallowed we're in the water line the hoes love me cause I'm a water sign All this money on the floor, baby door. Solid track Nothing spectacular Let me get my paper right Then come out, let's play tonight Benjamin Frank, that's my neighbor Deep in the night, let's get dangerous We not the type to point fingers She took the pipe, now she famous It's plenty paper in rotation Let's pick a private location It's a no Go. relation vacation Travis? Went crazy, now let's go amazing Hey, Trev Ooh, okay Baby, chill, don't worry about that you don't need a real job. Forget about all the problems. You can go call your mama. This song doesn't feel finished. I've got to be honest. There's a lot of elements that I like. It mixes absolutely all over the place. But Tell you married to the mob. Whatever. This one is a real vibe. So just as I was listening to this, I remembered that JPEG Mafia finally connected with Kanye after his fucking rant. And I was like, well, maybe he was involved in production on this one. So I'm actually just going through track by track and seeing where, if at all, the JPEG Mafia is involved, and he was involved in production on Stars. That's the first one I clicked on. Easter My Life was Timberland. Paid was Strave, Wax Motif, Kanye, Kill Hoffa, lots of people. Talking was Kanye, DJ Camber, James Blake, No ID, and Ed Exclusive. Back to me, 88 Keys, uh, Wax Motif, AOAA, and Kanye. Kanye across the whole thing. That's the thing. Like, even if his verses and a lot of them have been a bit weird, he's involved in a production in every song. It is a Kanye West project. Udra. Kanye and 88 Keys. Fire. Ah, Do It was JPEG Mafia, along with Wheezy and Kanye West and Krishan. So um, I wouldn't have picked that one for, for a Peggy. And this one, which I thought might be Peggy, is actually Digital Nas, DJ Rocker, DJ Vitinho, BDP, and Yay. So uh, we'll check him on each song going forward. How about I ask you this question first? What you gonna do for this baby bird? She said it's giving, she's supposed to serve. You'll make mommy legs work. You make mommy legs work. You make mommy legs. Very specific reference, but that guitar, whatever the hell that noise is, sounds like the intro music from WCW versus NWO Revenge on the N64. Enough people who watch this video that some of you will know that intro music. 
Her body like the wild, wild west. Alright. Okay, we're getting smooth on this one. Let's go. Who's not entertained by my pain? Who ain't cash a check off my name? When my campaign turned to campaign, I burn yeah. eight billion to take off my chains. Burn, baby, burn. Sometimes it hurts. I guess I never learn. So who would no, some actual lyrics about something. When my campaign turned to canned pain. So I'm thinking that he his presidential campaign. I burned eight billion to take off my chain. So I'm guessing that's to do with the Adidas Yeezy thing. I mean, that's a lot of money. You heard I was flying them out. They was trying for clout. I was dying to gout. Man, the world gone mad. Her R. Kelly in the next Balenciaga ad. This is why I was surprised by the verse on talking from Ty Dollar, because this, this is the Ty Dollar that I'm used to, really. Shy wanna fuck, well, I'm letting the hype outside. Shy wanna fuck, well. That's a playboy can't he? I mean, he's gone from baby voice to sounding like a fucking 48 year old smoker. Dressed in all her face, she trying to show us. Miami, bar, hard before I told her. I'm in the GC, break a shit with my pole. Peggy's on this one, I'm pretty sure it'll be this bit. You got Kanye, you got Timberland, you got Hubi or Hubby, you got Shadow, you got Vais, so many people, Digital Nas, Christian, and JPEG Mafia. I don't Travis. care who you fuck, you a virgin to me, you a perv in the me, baby perv with the me. Hold my coat, hold my drink, on my own, don't want me. Sure they wanna fuck on, sir, fuck on me, baby, you on fire. So much going on in this song. I can get you. It's that one plus two is three. Lock the number in and she started with three song. Me not the three song. We about to have a mean one. I'm trying to trap this. I mean, Jesus, what a lot. What a crazy track. Brown skin, but you know I had a cream. I'm gonna let her hop on some. So much going on in that song. Production crazy. I mean, you could hear that there was like 19 different producers on it. Playboy Carty is there sounding like an old bloke. Travis is there sort of in and out. And then Ty Dollar is definitely wants to fuck something. Kanye is there talking about things. Mad song. Too much information to take in in my brain on first listen on that one. Where are we? 10 tracks in. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I wasn't expecting it. Honestly, especially based on Vultures, which is coming up next, actually. I'll give it another listen. The first time I heard that, I was like, oh, God. He's lost the plot. It's just he ain't the guy that I want him to be anymore. Definitely not outside um, the studio and not even inside the studio anymore. But there's so much on here that is exactly what I want it to be. I'm not going to get college dropout Kanye anymore. That person basically doesn't exist. There's no way it could after 20 years and everything that's been through and how much money he's made, how famous he's got, all the craziness. But I just want somebody that can create musical moments that nobody else can. That's what I'm after. And 20 years in the game, there's no doubt in my mind after 10 tracks of this, Kanye West can still do that. Absolutely he can. And if we met in a club. Yeah, I don't like the tune. And Ty Dolla Sign, way out in Saudi, I found me a plug. Be careful, mate. Be fucking careful. Be careful. Bamba. Way too rich to drive a road, made a milli out of stone. She let to put it in her nose. Pretty bitch with white toes. I done put it out of bros. I done put it in the rose. I done put up in the ghost. I done reached all my goals. Yeah, go, 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 go. Hey, so good, she on the road. She ride a dick like a carnival. I done did the impossible. Go, 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 go. Hey, so good, she on the road. Day 
I dress all black. For sure, 900 racks. Middle East got double that. I'm a neck of bubble back. I'm a wrist new Cadillac. Cause I don't want a bag. Little bitch, I'm a superstar. These hoes wanna fuck my car. My dog put a nigga in park. Fuck your Gotta car. Watch out for the knives. This the Game of Thrones. Yeezy not the clones. Elon wear my rocket ship. It's time to go home. They say she said my dick. And she said she ain't said my dick. She gon' take it up the air. Like a Ben Twiller quiz. I mean, sis, Taylor Swift. Since I had a rolling on the wrist. I'm a new Jesus, bitch. I turn water to Chris. This for what they did to Chris. They can't do shit with this. Got my kids in a fake school. We ain't. This is a wild song. Go, 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 go. Wait, I pop my shit. The hoes not ready. I'm going barnacles. Moving to feel like a Jason. Can't get arrested. I'll make them stop me. She want a private session. Roll out them exes when I'm on Melrose. She tatted my name on her titties. Yeah, you could bust it, but it's a barrow. <laughs> This one's either going to grow on me or not, I don't know. Uh, I tell you one thing, it's going to go crazy live. Absolutely crazy live. It's got that kind of anthemic chant, very similar to Mo Bamba. It's got a guitar lick. Um, Carty again, sounding like an old man. Interesting track. Definitely an interesting track. It sounds fucking massive in the headphones. Okay. I'd be interested to hear that one live for sure. You've gone too far. You've gone too far and you should hang your head in shame. By the way, can I can hear my heartbeat? Hope he cradles me and rocks my heart to sleep. Okay, I'm tapped in. I'm tapped in. Protector in the night and a stranger in the dark. Ooh. Don't say anything more. Bombs in of all the parts that you have taken. A refraction of the parts that made me whole. But he was stronger than I was. But it's strength you can't sustain. You should beg forgiveness of me. You should beg forgiveness. You should beg forgiveness. This is six minutes. You should beg forgiveness. I mean, a, a fire start. Absolutely fire. somewhere then my brain was all over the place I was just thinking about stuff from my past and In the dark. yeah we're completely all over the place on that one and then suddenly we got the Donna Summer sample in here so I'm gonna take this one back 
got my heart on ice. Kanye, no idea on production. Don't you know it's going to be good. tracks mm. love that really unusual for the rest of the album I feel like I be the murder murder right. fucking on the beat you never heard of heard of like old Kanye but that poke like the leader well out of attic can he do it again Everything I do, they do get easy, set the trend. And when I speak my mind, it's gonna be some lawsuits and furniture moving. I gotta haul through, like when you be moving, I gotta fly to Japan just to be secluded. They did no damage, what I give them no chances. Even if they get a chance, here's panic like they know Spanish. How I brand all of these clothes, how every tanch in my throat, make an anthem for hoes. It's my life now. The dress code upscale. Used to shop at all D's. I ran up some numbers now i got what you Man. all need i was not expecting an aldi reference as we call it over here aldi i didn't even know you had aldi in america do you have aldi in america you know the cheap supermarket shout out aldi shout out littles the best supermarkets actually because you get fucking dope food from different places instead of the mainstream supermarkets it's way cheaper and it's not as big so you don't get lost shout out little shout out aldi don't I make the rules like a referee Come get on your knees, shawty, I got knees She a loud mouth, I need a sign and seal A couple brand new deals Gotta get this shit off my chest I got some shit to spill Passing out NDAs, nigga deal with it after I just fucked the world raw, she need a morning after I mean, this feels like a real contrast to talking doesn't it? I was late to every meeting in my queen's tunnel But all the hoes in Hoboken know If I seen you outside with the open toes You might get you a trip to the Poconos You might have to tell your man a Pinocchio That was a jokey joke That wasn't Picture this If every wrong got a different bitch Do that make me a panigamist? Without the deals I guarantee I'm still nigga rich Shit is Fucking ridiculous. It's like reference back to ridiculous. Um, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna quote that line, but yeah, that's right up there. That's right up there with some of the maddest stuff on this record. Uh, last track is Cool King. I mean, that sounded amazing, but lyrically, Jesus Christ. I know there's been question marks about the mix on this album. I haven't really noticed it, but like, track 14 to track 15 to track 16 is a mess. You need to fix it. Instrumental is good though, well it will sound good when it's fixed. Yeah, this is fire to be fair. 
Yeah, instrumental is fire. It's got that kind of like 60s psychedelia element to it. But it just doesn't sound right yet. Okay. It's been a hell of a first listening experience. Let me know what yours was like down in the comments. Let me know your favorite tracks. Okay, that works as an outro, no doubt. No doubt that works as an outro. But yeah, I mean, there's some magic moments on there. I thought Hood Rat was amazing. I thought Beg Forgiveness was amazing. Obviously, I love talking on here as well. Back to Me was insane, but had some incredible moments. Shout out Freddie Gibbs for like tearing up that verse. Uh, you know, there's nothing quite like a Kanye West first listen. I've been fortunate enough in the whole time that I've been reacting to music on YouTube that he has put out, yay, he has put out Jesus is King. He has put out Donda 1, Donda 2, and now this. We've had a lot to get through. I mean, I would have loved to have been there for the days where he was releasing the true classics, but still, a mad first listen and some absolute gems on there and stuff that I'm going to be listening to for a long time. Really keen to get your thoughts down in the comments. As always, this is a first listen. We'll be doing a follow-up video on this. We'll be doing follow-ups if he releases more songs or changes it, but we'll also be doing follow-ups. Um, I'll do a review along those lines as well. So before I go, 20th anniversary of College Dropout, if you wanted to get your t-shirt or hoodie, the link is down in the description to my store. Go and get them while you can. And of course, if you're a content creator, music producer, somebody working in the world of creativity, make sure you sign up to the newsletter as well. Link down in the description to that one and come and join that team. We're moving out here. Big projects on horizon. I'll see you there for it. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for an amazing buzz on X as well. All the big yay channels out there uh, giving me some love. So shout out to all of you and I'll see you all very soon. All right, wow, what a day. Peace. <laughs>